Hey guys, I'm Common Ramen here. Uh, today I want to do a video on this game I found at Target uh, by Ravensburger called Alien Fate of the Nostromo. Um, I'm a huge, huge alien nerd. Uh, so when I saw this, I, I had to get it. Um, but I've not actually heard much about it. Um, I saw some stuff on it online as far as like release, but don't know... Um, much about what the game is about or even what's in the box. So we're going to take a look at what's inside here. Um, but you can see here, Alien, Fate of the Nostromo. In space, no one can hear you scream. And here on the side, we have a little picture of Jonesy, the kitty. Uh, and ourselves a nice little face hugger egg. The uh, picture of the Nostromo on the outside, and a Xenomorph. So, fun story, let's jump in. Um, Ravensburger, um, I don't know if it's just with the Target games, or if it's kind of across the board. I know they do with their puzzles, they don't use shrink wrap. Although, with uh, games like Castles of Burgundy and, and some of their other Ravensburger collection, they did use shrink wrap so I'm not really sure why they don't use shrink wrap here but it's kind of annoying because we're gonna have to go back and get these stickers fully off later um and make sure it doesn't leave any residual residue not not the biggest fan of this style of packaging but what can you do not to mention it leaves it bare on the shelf for any wear and tear and since you know it's a retail product um not uncommon to have you know hundreds of hands touch this and still seems to be in relatively good condition so I'm not I'm not gonna complain too much about that I just hate the way they do that all right oh there you go we got a big old picture of Jonesy he's not the alien because this is not it not it thing this is not thing he's on the front of the board so let's actually since we have it, let's take a look at what the board looks like. All right. Oh, this is a big one. Here. I'm going to have to pull the camera up on this here. Turn it around like this. So we're looking at the Nostromo. Um, little crew morale track. My guess is this is probably a cooperative. Survive together type of game. Actually really impressed by this, um, considering these uh, Ravensburger games aren't necessarily made with the best of quality. This is pretty cool. Um, the Nostromo was the front half of the cargo ship that they were uh, pulling around. Um, the, the smaller front half, not the... Uh, did I do this backward? Oh, I did do it backward. Okay. Uh, not the bigger part with the cargo in it. Um, I don't know if they ever actually go in there. but Alright, so this is our rule book. Uh, Transmission Origin USS Nostromo. We've got Dallas right there. Components list. Some neat looking... Setup rules. Um, our iconic heroine, Ripley. So you got pick up and drop off action. So I'm get yeah. This this more than likely has to be uh, cooperative. This um, came in on the tail half of the Gale Force 9 Aliens uh, Another Day in the Core game. Um, my guess is it's probably a simplified version. Um, but I'd have to actually go through the trouble of reading it. Oh, you can uh, you can increase the difficulty. 
with uh, Science Officer Ash. What a horrible android that guy was. So we got some punch boards here. There's our Ash punch board, and there's our, uh, oh no, sorry. There's our uh, Xenomorph. I'm catching a reflection of my face on this shrink wrap. We'll cut that open in a minute. All right, so here we have our, we'll just have to take a look at those, yeah? The miniatures. All right, so there's Brett, Ripley. Oh, their names are right there, okay. Ripley. Dallas, when he was crawling through the vents. Lambert. And Parker, the other maintenance guy. So we're missing um, the original guy who got um, face hugged at the beginning. Can't remember his name. Uh, here's our xenomorph. If I can get a good zoom on that. I have to move these guys out of the way to get that zoom. These guys are too small. So there's our z xenomorph. His deadly little tail. Got some bags here, some stands. All right, let's take a look at the uh, character boards. Ripley, warrant officer. Dallas, the captain. These are actually pretty good likenesses. Brett, engineering tech. And Parker, chief engineer. Lambert, navigator. Got some other cards here. So we got escape. On Narcissus. These must be the missions. We're going to blow up the ship. You have my sympathies. Cut off every bulkhead and every vent. That didn't go so well for you, Dallas. And then blow it out in space. Um, yeah. There wasn't any crew left for that part of the mission, but you know. Next, we got some cards. Let's open this up. Okay. Okay, we have what looks to be a quick reference for... Oh, yeah, just, yeah, just a quick reference in general. So it's got a quick reference of some items here, and then it's got a um, reference of actions and some iconography here. Just assuming those are quick play uh, player references. Crib sheets, if you will. Um, alien... Alien. Different areas of the uh, ship that he could be hiding in, or they could be hiding in. Makes you wonder if quiet is a good thing or a bad thing. 
Order 9 th 937. Crew is expendable. What do we got here? I don't know if you want to give it incentive. These things aren't exactly nice. All right, so that's the cards. I'm gonna take a look at these punch boards. Let's see what kind of tokens and stuff we can get. Let's get the uh, knife out here and give it a nice little cut. Uh, I should have taken the shrink wrap off before. But that would spoil the moment. And that wouldn't be fun. Alright, so. These are the punch boards that we got here. Um, this is the section of the ship where she sets off the uh, self-destruct. So this is what it looks like um, when it's not in the mode for self-destruct. And this is what it looks like uh, when we're getting it ready to self-destruct. Um, these look like bits and pieces of things. I'm sure we have to collect those up. We have the Xenomorph, and then of course we have Ash. Um, he was the android on board. Um, they did not know he was an android. Um, and he was kind of not so nice. Then it looks like we got all of our items here. The Cat Catcher, uh, Grappling Gun, Electric Prod, Motion Tracker, uh, incinerator flashlight, coolant tanks, all that fun stuff. On the back side, it's red. Not 100% sure what that indicates. That's cool. We have a bunch of these, which I think are the bulkheads. So these are where they were trying to cut off the... Uh, yeah, these are the bulkheads. So this is indicating open, and the other side is indicating the closed side. And then, of course, we have, you know, the alien right there. So that's terrifying. My guess is, if I had to take a guess, and that's because I haven't really done a lot of research. Where is the board? Here, let me put this down and get the board out. My guess is that we have to do exactly what the crew of the Nostromo had to do in the movie, which is you have to basically corner this thing and get it blown out the airlock. Um, only this time, maybe we have to be more successful. Although there's several missions, so maybe it's just taking different parts of the... Um, so that here's Mother, right here. So what it could be is that depending on the mission you have, you're doing something that, that happened in the movie. Like, for instance, uh, setting the self-destruct, um, trying to corner it and blow it out the airlock, or so on and so forth. Um, the crew morale tracker leads me to believe that it's obviously um, cooperative or 1v all. Um, and obviously, if you hit a certain point right here, um, the crew loses. I'm sure there's multiple lose conditions because cooperative games are like that. We have the um, stasis chamber where they go to cryo sleep. This is where they have dinner and where the uh, alien first showed up. Right in here in the med bay, you can see the acid um, part where it dripped through. Um, you can see more of the acid right there. This is where the alien made its home. This is pretty cool. I, I like that they, um, I like the amount of detail they put in it. Here is the front part. Although in the movie, this part looks a lot more cramped than this. There's a lot more seats in here. I'm not really sure 
Unless this is the... Oh no, this is the escape pod, I think. Isn't it? No, it can't be, because there's only two seats in it. I'm not really sure what that is. It doesn't look like the same thing as it did in the movie. But it, since it's connected to Mother, I have to assume it's the front of the ship. That's my guess. Because if you look over here, it's showing you what uh, what exactly we're looking at. So we're looking, yeah, it is, the front of the ship. We're looking at the very front part of the ship. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool. So that is what you get with Fate of Nostromo. A huge Alien fan. Um, I know that there's a ton of new Alien games that are coming out. Like I said, they have uh, Gale Force 9 um, released a uh, game called Another Day in the core, which is following the second movie, Aliens. Um, so this one follows the first movie. Um, and it's it's pretty interesting to see. I'm sure that it's pretty similar to the idea of just, you have a mission, follow the, follow the uh, objectives, and, you know, and if people well if if the whole crew dies you lose basically but there's also it looks like there's defeats right here so if you i wonder if you're supposed to do all of these it would make sense because that's how it works in the movie but uh yeah that is alien fate of the nostromo by ravensburger you can pick this guy up at target believe it or not um, I haven't seen it on any retail shelves at local hobby shops. Um, I don't know if that means that we won't, because um, I'm starting to see Ravensburger titles like this um, show up at, at local hobby shops, like uh, Villainous or Back to the Future or... Uh, I can't think of all of them. That Godzilla game uh, have been showing up. Um, so I, I bet you it's just a matter of time till we see it. But if you want to pick it up now, you can pick it up on, at your local target or, you know, online. Um, so yeah, Alien, Fate of the Nostromo. If you have any comments, leave them below. Uh, I'll try to get back to them as soon as I can. And, uh, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And, uh, you know, consider backing me on my Patreon. It's under Un Uncommon Ramen. Once I get it fully um, fleshed out, I will definitely leave a link below, but if you're raring to see it, it's under Uncommon Ramen, um, because I do this in my free time, and, uh, any amount can help me free up more time to bring up, more, bring out more content, so consider that, and, uh, until next time, guys, peace.